Welcome to this overview of the Azure Dashboard. The Dashboard is the first thing you see when you log into the Cloud Health Platform. You'll notice that Cloud Providers are organized alphabetically at the top left of the screen. Click on the Azure tab to open the Azure specific dashboard. The Azure Dashboard provides you with a high level summary of your Azure costs and usage. However, the dashboard is designed so that if you need more detailed information about your Azure infrastructure, that information is only a few clicks away. At the very top of the dashboard is a high-level breakdown of your Azure costs. The first block shows you the total of your current month-to-date Azure costs. The second block shows you your total Azure expenditures for the previous month. These blocks are also hyperlinks that will bring you to reports that provide further details about your Azure spending. By clicking on Current Cost, this will take you to the current cost report. Clicking on Last Month will take you to the Cost History Report. You can also find your way to these reports using the navigation menu on the left-hand side of the screen and clicking on Reports and then Cost. The next block features your projected Azure costs for the month. This is an estimate of your costs for the month and is calculated by adding the actual month-to-date cost to the average daily cost based on the last 31 days and is then multiplied by the remaining days in the month. It is important to note that the projected cost is simply a guide. Its accuracy improves as the month progresses as more month-to-date data becomes available. Additionally, projected monthly cost does not include in its calculation reserved instance or support purchases. The last block shows you your burndown balance. If your organization has an enterprise agreement commitment with Azure, this will show you the remaining balance against the original commitment. The next section of the dashboard provides visual representation of your cost history. This cost history graph shows your Azure costs over the last 13 months. Costs are grouped and color-coded based on their Azure service category. This is not a static chart by any means. You can hover over any portion of the bar for the month for more information about your costs for the month. For example, I can see right away that we made a significant investment with VM reservation orders in November 2021. By hovering over this section, I can see the total upfront cost for those reservation orders, which was $161,280. In the legend above the graph, if you want to remove a service category from view, all you have to do is click on the item to hide it. Simply click on it again to bring it back into view. Alternatively, if you wanted to isolate to a specific category, you can go to the item in the legend, hold down the shift key and click, and this will then isolate that item within the chart. You can shift click again to bring the rest of the chart back into view. The next part of the Azure dashboard shows you your VM usage. It presents the number of VMs you currently have running. Clicking on this number will bring you to the Azure Asset Report, which provides additional details on each of your VMs. Below the number of VMs running is your VM usage by machine series. This will show you the number of VMs running for the past 13 months, categorized by machine series. By hovering over the bars on the chart, I can see right away that my organization has utilized the standard D1 v2 machine type and the standard D8 v3 machine type the most out of all of the machine types over the course of the last 13 months. Again, you can hide or change the view of this chart simply by clicking on items in the legend. The Azure dashboard is the default dashboard for Azure in the Cloud Health platform. If this dashboard is not providing the at-a-glance information that you need, you can create your own customized dashboard. In the top right corner of the screen, you'll see three blue dots. Click on that, then click on New. This will then bring you to a page where you can build your own custom dashboard. You can head over to the Help Center by clicking on the question mark icon at the top of the screen. Here we have documentation that walks you through creating your own custom dashboard. Additionally, you can search in the Cloud Health Academy for our on-demand video that provides a step-by-step -step tutorial on building your own customized dashboard. And that is it for this overview of the Azure Dashboard in Cloud Health. Thanks for joining us.